Luca di Montezemolo was the 26-year-old son of Italian aristocrats driving race cars on the side when he joined Ferrari as an assistant to the man himself, founder Enzo Ferrari. Within two years, he was managing the Formula One team. And in 1975, he put Niki Lauda in the Ferrari 312T for a world championship. In 1991, Montezemolo became chairman of Ferrari, and inspired directly by its Formula One V12 engines, Ferrari built the iconic F50 in 1995. Meanwhile, Montezemolo was working to bring glory back to the Scuderia, as the team is known. He hired Jean Tote to run it in 1993. During Tote's tenure, which lasted till 2007, Ferrari built several of the most dominant cars in Formula One racing history. It helped, too, that Michael Schumacher was driving them. Credo non ci siano formule magiche, abbiamo la necessità di avere una macchina la migliore. Schumacher è un grandissimo pilota, quest'anno volevamo vincere due, due o tre gare ed essere pronti l'anno prossimo per fare il grande salto. The F2002 won an incredible 15 of the 17 races it started and carried Schumacher to the third of five straight world titles. La Scuderia won another in 2007 with Kimi Raikkonen at the wheel but that was the last time it won a title. Despite huge commercial success with the release of the California in 2012, and then LaFerrari, its hybrid supercar in 2013, its F1 department continued to struggle. Last year, when its number one driver, Fernando Alonso, was asked what he'd like for his birthday, he replied, someone else's car. Montezemolo didn't like that. But things didn't improve this season. Ferrari drivers have managed just two podium finishes, and it's been over a year since the team won a Grand Prix, making it its longest dry spell in more than two decades. That futility was one of the main reasons behind Montezemolo's ouster. As he found out, there's nothing worse than a slow Ferrari. <laughs>